What's up, YouTube? Long time no see. Long time no seeing my face. <laughs> um, so welcome, hey everyone. So with the announcement of the new Nintendo Switch OLED model coming out, I decided to do a reaction video for watching the trailer. That and I really didn't have an idea for a video. So let's uh, let's do this up. Do this up. So let's get started. Just for context. I have not seen what it looks like. I heard what it's like. I just haven't actually seen what it's like. So let's watch it in my genuine reactions and let's have a fun time. So iconic intro as always. OLED model. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but. Oh, Metroid Dread. Cool beans. Whoa! Wait, <laughs> does this guy come with the with the new Switch model? This guy comes with it. I'm down already. You really look that happy getting destroyed in a game. Six point two inch. Oh, is it bigger? Why is he standing while playing? <laughs> what? Oh, he's sitting. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh, that's what it looks like. Oh my god, it go Oh! See how- Oh, see how far it snaps back? Kinda bad. Kinda bad though. Well, two and three. Do you get access to all these games too, by the way? Wired lamp or Ethernet cable. Oh, another cool thing is the color scheme is different. I don't know if people mentioned this actually. It's white controllers. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, did you see that? Did you see that guy's face? <laughs> this guy is so done. Uh -oh. uh, that's funny. Available October 8th. So my thoughts. Um, Wow. So I did hear about what the OLED model was. And that's basically just like the dock being um more adjustable. So I can show you with my Switch how bad it is. It's just this tiny thing. Which is like, it feels like it'll break. Um, So the thing with a lot of Nintendo consoles that I think people kind of forget and i think we were a little too hopeful for a 4k switch just like right off the bat for like a second model or i guess third model because they made like an extra battery life model right is that um essentially like if you look at any of the handheld consoles and i know this one's a little different because like a handheld and a docking um one but a lot of the docking or like the, a lot of the handheld models of nintendo devices so like game boy uh, DS, 3DS, right? Um, and now Nintendo Switch. Um, the important thing, or the thing that all those models had in common, was that there's a metric. There's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of different models for each handle device. So I wouldn't be surprised if the Switch, in its whole lifetime, because I don't think Nintendo's gonna make a new like actual like console for a while. Um, that the Switch has multiple reiterations where the models just constantly get better and better, essentially, right? Compared to old Game Boy, 
um, to the Game Boy Advance. I think the Game Boy Advance is vastly superior in terms of like everything. I know some people will probably hate on me for that. The DS versus like the DS Lite, you know, DSi also. 3DS, I think 3DS is the biggest culprit. I bought the 3DS at release. I loved it. And I don't own a 3DS XL, but holy moly, the 3D XL is vastly superior to that of the original 3D. So with this model, it looks like it's just going to be a lot better docking. I forgot about the Switch Lite too. So the Switch has already had like a couple, like a few models, different models in its lifetime. So, I mean, it's just a better docking Switch or not docking Switch, a handheld Switch. Like, that's pretty cool. I, I think that's pretty awesome. Um. Contrary to popular belief, a lot of people like the Switch because you can play it anywhere, essentially. Right? That's why they had to make like the the new battery life, because people were actually playing it in handheld mode. <laughs> I only play it dock mode personally just because um I think when I play it, right, it's just my hands are a little too big for the sides. Like I have to like literally when I do it, I have to claw grip like this on this usually and not like this. It's really uncomfortable if I do this. So I have to claw grip it all the time. So it looks like it's bigger, has a bigger screen. My only letdown is that we're going to be playing Breath of the Wild 2 on 30 frames a second. That is a little disappointing. It would have been nice if we played it on six, 60 frames per second or like in 4K, you know. I mean... It is what it is. Uh, Nintendo, you know, honestly, the Switch isn't like the best or revolutionary console when it comes to like technical innovation, if I'm being honest. Just another Nintendo thing has a lot of great Nintendo games on it. So I'm not really surprised. I would have liked there to be a better Switch model. Not like I was going to buy it anytime in the near in the future anyway, but it looks cool. It looks great. And it's awesome for people who want to buy a Switch for the first time. I think that's really big appeal i don't know if people who are on already own a switch would want to buy this at all if i'm being honest but for people who are buying a new switch it's great it's a newer model and it just reminds me of the 3ds where like the original 3ds was fine it was great kind of small but then they made the 3ds xl later in down the line and 3ds xl is vastly superior i would not be surprised if another switch comes out later and it's so much better than original switch even though the switch right now is pretty much fine so I don't really have any other reactions to the trailer. It's just pretty mundane, if I'm being honest. So, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I think if you don't want to switch, if you want to buy one, this is the model you should buy. You should wait for it. I think it will be better off. You'll, you'll be better off buying this. Actually, it depends on the pricing, too. The pricing is like 100 or $200 over the original Switch, then maybe not. But... If it's just the original Switch price, I say go for it. I say buy it. Looks like it's great for newer people. So I think the Switch Lite, for example, the yellow one over there, as you see, isn't the best in my opinion. I'm just not a big fan of the handheld mode for a lot of games, um, if I'm being honest. I only do it for a few games like Octopath. I just bought Fire Emblem Three Houses, so probably for that game too. So yeah, I mean... I don't really see that much use for handheld, in my opinion, but I know a lot of other people do. So that being said, hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, peace soup.